Hey, this is Vu, and I wanted to go over what you can learn from Simple. A common trope you can find when asking for advice is that you shouldn't copy Simple's gameplay style. While there may be some validity to that, as Simple plays in a way that's very tough for mere mortals to replicate with any consistency, it's definitely overblown, and I want to show you some of the things that Simple does extremely well that you should try to learn from. Now, there are a few things that Simple does with rifles to talk about, but as he's primarily an opper, that will be the focus here. The first thing you should absolutely try to adopt for yourself is that Simple is very safe with the op on CT's side when it comes to later round scenarios, ensuring not to lose the op when at all possible. And with the gun remaining around for so long, Simple is able to use it for a dynamic playstyle that you don't really see the likes of from any other. While keeping an op mobile and dynamic is the goal of the game for almost every top tier opper, with these stats from Spotlight CSGO, you can see that Simple's kills on a lot of maps vary on position more than anyone else. Well, the first impression of this type of stat may be that Simple is simply given more freedom than any other, and that wouldn't be entirely wrong. Simple's dynamic playstyle also opens up opportunities for his teammates to play more freely, and it relieves a lot of pressure. We can see that in this specific round from Navi vs MIBR and Mirage, Simple opens with a jump cat, misses it, and then moves around to the opposite bomb site and helps to defend from B. Subverting expectations isn't just the name of the game for Game of Thrones, it's also the name of the game with the op in hand, and Simple does this to great effect. If your opponents struggle to find where the opper is, they have to show respect to every angle as if an opper is playing there, lest they get picked for free. In this case, Simple doesn't get any contact in B, but his presence allows a double aggression on Cat, and when that goes wrong, Simple is quick to react and push Cat himself. As the third Cat player, he catches the initial T off guard and is able to turn that into a victorious 1 versus 2. You may have noticed in that round, Simple is very quick to adjust once his team went down in the round. While Simple is known traditionally for his brazen aggression, his aggression in the early and mid round is typically actually fairly calculated. Simple, against equally skilled opponents, otherwise known as Zaiwu, I mean similarly skilled teams, doesn't typically get too ambitious unless his team suffers a loss. In that case, Simple has a clear plan of attack almost pre-planned and pounces instantly. We can see in this round versus Astralis on Nuke, Simple is initially throwing utility for his team, and as the push begins to sour, Simple makes his way into ramp almost before the push is even finished failing. He can see it happening ahead of time and already has a plan for what he can do to win the round off of it. Because of this speed, he's able to silently make his way into the close ramp corner, which wouldn't otherwise be a possible angle. And for that reason, Magisk walks by completely unaware. This transitions him into a 2v2 that him and Electronic are able to close out, but that silence is significant. Simple also uses this silence to benefit him significantly in his general opping. Almost more than any opper I've studied, Simple refrains from scoping in for long periods during some rounds. This may be one of those cases that is tough to entirely replicate because scoping in and instantly shooting is much harder than Simple makes it look, but there is something there to be noted. As with rotating, sound cues are an easy and often overlooked way that your opponents can know where you are, and it can allow them to pressure other areas of the map or to counter you specifically. You can see this both in rounds where he scopes early, like this round against MIBR and Mirage where he scopes in just outside of T spawn and posts on the crack angle in B apartments, and you can see it as well in rounds where he doesn't scope at all, like this round on Nuke versus Cloud9. Simple holds its scope for a long time, only scoping in when he knows the HE grenade thrown from Cloud9 will mask the sound of the scope. You can see in a similar round, 12, when no such nade is thrown, Simple only scopes in when the push is beginning, and his scoping would no longer be significant to try to hide, as it's more important to support the push. And of course, supporting the push, colloquially known to Simple haters as baiting, is another thing Simple does in a very fundamentally sound manner that can be worth taking note of. While your teammates in matchmaking might be hypercritical of an opper not being the first person in during a push, the correct way to do it is exactly what Simple does in the majority of rounds. Simple has complete faith in his teammates to clear angles that they are capable of clearing, and tries primarily to focus on angles that they wouldn't be able to trade on, especially those that oppers are going to peek from. This concept is very notable on this round against MIBR and Mirage, where first off Simple does simple shit and gets himself an AWP before posting seemingly 
only very passively while his teammates push up onto the A bomb site. While this may be labeled as baiting, because it is, pushing in first with your op isn't going to help your team as much as it is going to get you killed. The same goes for pushing in first with your knife. Now this is the bit where I'd talk about Simple having intimate knowledge of tendencies of a lot of his opponents, and that's not really something the average player can replicate, so let's not mention how we knew Dinoko was going to try to knife him there because he counterstratted. The final thing to mention in regards to Simple's opping that may be the most replicable in your own gameplay is actually the way Simple adjusts his playstyle when he knows his opponents won't have an op. Now I say replicable, it may be a bit harder when your opponents and pugs seem to magically have 4750 on pistol round, but you can still try. While this may seem basic, the reality is that a CT side opper can play about 75% more aggressive or really any fake made up percentage more aggressive in terms of re-peaking when he knows that a T side opper won't be posted up to punish him when he does so. This is part of why Simple holding his scope on T side is significant, but also it allows Simple to absolutely abuse teams that don't have an op when he knows that's the case. You can see it in this round versus Astralis how this plays out. Initially Simple peeks down directly towards T stairs and he'll hold the angle for quite a while before a very strong peek from the other side will push him back. At this point he falls back into the bomb site and jiggles an angle that an opper certainly could peek into. Finally, he'll late round go for a peek to clear out brackets at about 50 seconds. While there is more to this play than meets the eye, if Simple expected an op on the T side, he would likely be more hesitant to peek into brackets at this point in the round. Typically, for your own games, notable is that a truck re-aggression late round is nearly impossible to counter without having an op holding the angle or two riflers in position to go for a quick trade. Now at the end of the day, perhaps the most important thing to adopt from Simple is actually his supreme confidence. Of course it may be tough if you haven't been a god among CS players for years on end, but high level players will often tell you this. Confidence is the most underrated aspect of what makes a good player out there. If you lack confidence in your plays, you're assuredly going to fail. One thing you can see if you pay attention to Simple's gameplay for a while is that he never seems to panic. He always understands when and if he has time to do something and how he can play it out in that scenario. If we look at this round on the CT side of Mirage, Simple will throw a smoke on the bomb in a 1v2, and rather than doing what most people would do in this scenario, which is immediately try to fight someone, when they don't instantly present themselves, he knows he has time and space to still make his move how he wants. This is something that he wouldn't be able to do without a level of confidence that most people don't have. So. Fake it till you make it, or at least fake it until you get cut from your team and you derank to silver. But regardless, thanks for watching and I hope this helped. If you enjoyed the content and would like to support it, head on over to patreon.com slash or maybe consider subscribing.